show you the updated version of the video that I created. It was for three, just like me. So I'm gonna go through it, the config itself. You're gonna find. I think I just made the perfect CS:GO config. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, oh, oh. So what is up guys my name is Frace and today I'm finally here to show you what I think is the perfect CSGO config. I've made videos on this for years now and today I'm going to present something that is out of the ordinary. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please leave a like down below, comment what you want to see next, hit subscribe with notifications on and let's get straight into the video. The very first thing is going to be the crosshair. Take a look at this clip and you will understand why I chose exactly this crosshair. Yeah, All right. What? Huh? Yeah, the Asen. So as you can tell this crosshair is very small but I think it's very nice. It's without a outline however you can feel free to add it when you're playing maps like Cash and Dust when it's kind of hard to see but I think this crosshair is one of the better ones you can have. Simply use this for a long time and it's really really good as you can tell. As you might have seen on the bottom of the screen, there's my teammates and the enemies. And the way you do this is going to go to game settings under mini scoreboard position and style. You put on bottom of screen and show player count. This is going to make it very easy for you to keep up how many of there's left during a clutch so you don't have any doubt in your mind. Nice. So for the video settings and the resolution, all you gotta do is open up video settings, put on 4x3 normal, which is the aspect ratio we're gonna go with, and on resolution I go by 1280x960. By this is one of the best resolutions for 4x3 in my opinion, because it's very nice looking with these qualities and it makes it look very HD even though it's on a lower resolution. So for the advanced video settings, you got the quality, the details and so on, the shader detail. I put everything on low and very low, this makes it very nice and smooth in game and then you have vertical rendering you gotta have it on enable no matter what and for the aliasing mode you can do 4x or 8x doesn't matter really and the aliasing should be enabled at all times same goes with texture filtering mode you can have that on 8x as well but 4x is more than enough probably see me do this a lot of the time switching between left and right hand and it's very easy to do this i put the command on screen right now i'll also be leaving it down in the description all you do is put this in remove key with the key that you actually want to use and you just hit it to make it go back and forth personally i use caps lock you don't have to use that button but i think it's a very good one so feel free to use that if you want you can also just use whatever key you like so one more thing that you might notice about this config is that my net graph is set to zero this is optional however i decided to do so because it looks very nice and a lot of the time i don't have any fps or any ping issues with my internet so you can also just tab to see your ping during games and fps should be consistent if you don't have any problems so net graph set to zero is not an issue. I'm in the bed. I'm in the window. I'm in the bed. 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 Mm, 
for the ace clutch. This is by far the most aesthetically pleasing config I've made so far for a 4-3 resolution config so I hope you guys really enjoy this because I think this is amazing. So onto the launch options I've decided to do the no vid as I always use. It's because I want to remove the intro when you launch the game as you probably know. I also decided to add the D3 D9 EX for the faster alt tab when you're in game if you want to get out of the game really quick and fast back into the game so I really recommend that one. And frequency 144 is for the hertz just to make sure that CSGO always runs in 144 hertz and if you have a 240 hertz monitor just put 240 instead of 144. Real quick if you want to add the white HUD color go into game settings under HUD color and put on white. I think this is an amazing look for the UI itself so if you happen to care about those little things you can do that if you want to. So onto my keybinds this is very crucial for the config in what you think is good for you because keybinds are very crucial for a smooth gameplay and make it easier for the player himself or herself so what I want you to do is you can copy me but also just do whatever you like but you can try this out I have flashbang on T I find that to be very easy I have that Molotov on 6 I also have my mouse 4 bound to talking with teammates if you want that it's very nice even though mouse 4 is a very good bind so if you wanted to use it to something more useful do that and I also have my smoke green grenade on mouse 5 which is very handy. So for my view model you can tell that there is little to no movement. I have the least amount of movement on my view model as possible because I find it to be a little bit distracting and also it feels very smooth to me to have the less motion of the weapon or knife or whatever your weapon is. But I have seen people like Simple who have it on normal which is acceptable if you want it of course however for me that is just a no-go. It is very important that you realize that everything that I talk about in this video is highly based upon my own personal preference and view model in particular is very much so based on personal preference. I'd say it has little to no effect on your gameplay so you should choose whatever you like on this one. Same goes with a lot of the things that I talk about so my goal is trying to create the perfect config for myself and if you like it it can be the perfect one for you as well even though I know perfect is a word that is very hard to match but it is what it is so for the jumping keybind on this config I have space as default but I also added a secondary jump I know a lot of people don't like this and I know a lot of people do like this so I have bind mouse wheel down plus jump so I have two binds for jumping this makes it a lot easier to bunny hop however a lot of people seem to have issues that they accidentally jump during a clutch moment or something because they hit their mouse wheel when they're trying to aim so that might become a problem however I think it's really worth that doesn't happen to me a lot of the time so feel free to add this on your own. So for a very unique and nice thing to do in CS, do this right in bind H to R clear decals. You don't have to use H as your keybind but this is huge if you are playing competitive or just care about the game at all. There are so many scenarios where it's very useful to clear blood from the wall or just bullets. This is a great example from Bench on Mirage B site. If you come if you come from short or anything it might seem like there's an enemy because of the bullets however if you clear this it's going to be a lot easier to see if there's actually the head of a player or bullets in the wall one thing that is huge is the blood on the walls after killing enemies this is going to be so useful i didn't use this for a long time playing the game so i think this is a great thing to add to the config you can go down in the description download the config yourself or just manually add it to your own config we are getting really close to 3,000 subscribers so i'd really appreciate it if you hit subscribe that means so much much to me it's going to be pretty cool to hit that milestone and also feel free to follow me on twitter because i'm going to be more active on there and it will be really cool to communicate more with my viewers even though i've been very inactive but i know a lot of you guys might have some questions or just want to talk to me so feel free to just contact me on twitter so for my intro song it is currently on the screen it is no copyrighted so feel free to use that song i'll be leaving everything down in the description and for the beat that i've been using throughout the entire video it is sonic is building momentum so i hope you guys enjoyed the video please leave a like down below comment what you want to see next subscribe with notifications on and as always have a good one